Hey, Cav Templey here from Eskimo Joe, and we're gonna be digging in the crates with cool accidents. Uh, these are some records that are from my record collection. I don't even know where to begin to tell you the truth because I love them all. Uh, but let's start with one that's at the front. This is Suffian Stevens, or as I like to call him, Suffering Stevens, uh, with one of the most beautiful albums I've ever heard called Carrie and Lowell. Um, I believe Suffian wrote this about his mother who was dying of cancer, who he didn't really have a very strong connection with, but he had an amazing connection with Lowell, I think that's how you pronounce it, his stepfather, who uh, went on to help co-found his indie record label, and this album's got no drums on it, it's just his voice and this beautiful finger-picking guitar. Um, there's a, a line that pretty much makes me want to instantly cry every time I hear it on the first song, Death With Dignity, where he says, my brother had a daughter, the beauty that she brings, a radiation. It's just, it kills me every single time. Anyway, this album is absolutely spectacular. I highly recommend it. Um, I've got this album here at the front because I knew I was going to do this today so I thought what a good time to buy a new record. Sorry Beth, my wife, if you're watching this, yes I just bought a new record. Um, this is an album with, I, I'm not really a big fan of the title of this album, but Gillian Welsh's album Soul Journey. Uh, this album is about her kind of looking back at her life and uh, about the fact that she was adopted and you know just coming to terms with that and coming to terms with her uh, her own journey one beautiful thing about the vinyl version is all the lyrics are in there and you know what I love singing along the songs I love looking at album graphics I love to know where it was recorded who wrote it but yeah Gillian Welsh is absolutely spectacular and if you're gonna dive into the world of Gillian Welsh I highly recommend Soul Journey all right what are we gonna look at next so many records uh, let's go for something a bit more classic. Um, so this is a very beautiful, uh, I'm saying beautiful about every record. This is a divine version of uh, Carol King's Tapestry. There's probably a couple of records I will cite as probably being some of the best songwriting records of all time. Carol King's Tapestry is certainly one of those records. This is like an original 1970s pressing. Um, if you don't know about Carol, Carol King, she was like, uh, you know, worked for one of those, you know, hit factories where she literally sat in a room every day and pr played piano and, you know, wrote hits. Uh, and then one day she was like, cool, I'm going to record my own record. And she did. And every single song on this record is amazing. And of course, you know, some of them had famously already been recorded by other artists like You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll listen to this record and you'll be like, hold on, I know that song. Um, and you can't really see this, but, uh, it's got this, um, it's kind of, it feels like a tapestry. It's like this kind of, you know, nicely textured album cover. Um, and yeah, funnily enough, the only bad song on this record is the title track, Tapestry. But I'm going to give that to Carol because every single other song on this record is amazing. Uh, let's look at one more record while we've got time. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to look at? Um, okay. Paul Simon Graceland. Um, you know, Paul Simon's one of those artists who uh, is just fairly amazing at writing songs. Uh, what I love about this record is, um, you know, being a post-40 artist myself, I look at artists, you know, who past 40 came up with some of their best works. And, you know, really, if you're looking into that world, you've got people like Tom Waits, Nick Cave, um, Paul Simon did this post 40. He went and found this Soweto Jive band from South Africa when South Africa was still segregated. So that's kind of an amazing part of the story in itself. And he kind of, he famously talked about the fact that he could write a song. He didn't need to sit down with his acoustic guitar and, and you know, think about the universe. So he got this band in and they laid down all these amazing jams and then he wrote the lyrics over the top and it was about you know the end of his marriage and um, one of the reasons why this album so special is when my child my first child was born um, and then it became a thing in our family it, you know you sing them a song to go to sleep and for some reason I started singing Gracelands to them when I 
they were really young and it just stuck and then that was like the song that I would sing every night when they went to sleep. So this album is fantastic. I recommend side A more than side B. Though side B does have You Can Call Me Al. Uh, when I first discovered this record as an eight year old, um, I was a big Chevy Chase fan and Chevy Chase is in the video clip for You Can Call Me Al. So yeah, Paul Simon Gracelands. Thank you very much.